So, um, I'm going to cut out some patches for the uh, for the opposite side. I've got the door, um, lower door, and sill for a patch for there. The one at the other side, and there's also a patch that I'm going to uh, splice in under the uh, just at a lower lower arch. When I mark these out, I always leave um, a little, little bit extra uh, on the bottom, bottom edge. It's not a particular measurement. Just give something like between five and eight mil, because each bend radius you lose. Uh, I think this is one point one one mil, so I'll lose. About a millimeter um, per bend, and there's two bends in that one. Um, this is the uh, the one from the front door. Okay, just move the uh, patch up eight mil or so. Just label them so I know what they are. The thing is, this side is representative of this side, and the uh, I've actually bent pieces there roughly so I know roughly where the bends are. Get the uh, patch out of this as well. some more gloves. That's the reason why I'm using the welding gloves at the minute. Not really the best use of uh, welding gloves. grinders you can just rotate it with this quick lock and also you can actually take the guard off really quickly as well which is well, the main reason why I like using this grinder more than the other one.
so shan't deburr these just yet um, a lot of times when I'm um, handling stuff like this uh, just got to be very careful but, uh, getting a bit late in the day now to be uh, carrying on but uh, that's pretty much just things lie at the moment so once I bend these I should cut the uh, remainder of the material off once I've actually bent them up and fitted them um, this one in particular the the door one as it comes down with the uh, the B post, um, which is this is the bottom B, B post repair really. Uh, I said driver's door before, which is not right. Um, so that is the one that I'm going to uh, going to be doing first tomorrow. So, right, just to quickly mention this. This comes off really well. Just unclip it. You rotate this all the way and we'll get some rotate it all the way around to here and then it actually comes off so if you do want to clean this whatever it's pretty easy just me being a uh, making it look difficult <laughs> but anyway that's it for uh, for now the other thing is I never ever use chucky uh, spanner to do it. That's it, it's just tightened up. Plenty. But really enjoying this. A lot of design improvements. Pulls the air in from down the bottom now uh, and through the handle so it cools the motor, gearbox, and the exit up here. Whereas before the air airing used to be down here, so when you put your hand on it, you actually block, block the cooling air, which is pretty good. Decent battery. So that was just a three, three amp hour. It lasts quite a while. Uh, that's it. So that's it for now. Just marked out for cutting out. Um, ground a lot of this back. There's quite a lot of um, repair work done in here. It's probably about an eighth of uh, filler. So and I think that's possibly going to be all the way down. Um, there was actually a bit of rust in here, and they've only welded it every half inch to an inch um, all the way down. So that's going to be another job I'm going to come back to once I've repaired all the 
um, other bits coming back to this. Um, made a panel up. Um, another small piece that I'm going to let into there. I'm not cutting all this out because it's actually got repair um, already over it. Um, so I'm just going to kind of put a weld that, um, which will take quite a bit of work. But because uh, the material is going to be absolutely well, be so thin and rusted out. Um, but I don't want to because there's a patch here and there's a patch here. I've got nothing to actually follow. Um, you've got the original panel in this form here, but I don't know how badly it's been distorted because of the weld here and the weld underneath. So it's going to take a bit of uh, looking at. Um, could actually go into this a lot deeper. Could actually buy repair panels for these two and have the whole panel off but then you're getting into something you know a whole nother level um, and I'm not really prepared to do that um, the inner sill's pretty pretty decent on this uh, it has been wax old most of its life um, even when we got it it was uh, <laughs> when it came from Germany it was covered in um, wax oil even then and the van was in very good nick um, you can see from the paint layers when it was bare metal before um, it was still on its original paint so it hadn't been messed about with um, hence the reason why it's not so bad at the moment um, but this type of work this just absolutely offends me beyond belief um, you get so many people that say they can weld oh yeah, I can weld, I do body work yeah that's what you get um, and that was a fairly reputable garage. Um, they don't, this particular garage don't actually do bodywork anymore. Um, I'm not going to mention names. Uh, I'm not about that. But uh, I do want to do want to sort this out. I'd rather it be the full curve. So I might have to buy a repair panel for this um, to sort it out. I'll have to take off this. <laughs> Um, seam repair which I hate seeing overlap welds it's absolutely disgusting um, I mean I bought this tool for doing seams so that you get the kink and you can put another piece of material up plus you can weld down a joint um, and you get a nice uh, overlap there's absolutely no reason to see that kind of welding going on it's just absolutely abominable um, uh, there should be a nice sweeping curve coming down here luckily the edge here is still uh, it hasn't been welded there's two bits there's actually three panels that have been let in here there's one there one along here they've welded along the end of the join which is a bit of a no-no in my book there's another one here as well why they've let three in like that um, it's just ridiculous um, they've cut across here but you can see this is original panel in this part here and here so they've maintained the lines but the amount of fill is just absolutely ridiculous I mean I've actually blended it out a bit but um, I've put the put a pencil here you can see there's a good eighth or so just bring up with a camera so looking down how well this is going to come out if I bring you up and around you can see that the amount of filler is absolutely ridiculous I mean obviously there would be a radius there but uh, anyway that's that
to be finished off 